Hi, in this video we're gonna quickly go through the process of setting up some Blendshape Solve, exporting this animation and then importing it again into Unity. Also we're gonna be using Blender as our intermediate software. So let's get started by importing the default demo scene. The next step is to set up the Blendshape Solve. For this we need a model with the Blendshapes for this character. We provide the Blendshapes for Mark and you can find it if you navigate to your local nuclear server in the local host, NVIDIA, Assets, Audio to Face, Samples, and then inside Blendship Solve, you will find this mail uh, Blendship 46 uh, USD file. You can simply drag it into the stage and you can check that here the neutral mesh has all these uh, Blendships. Now, the next step is to set up the Blendship Solve. Uh, to make it more convenient, we can first move the original mark slightly to the left side. And then focus the scene to have a better view. To set up these Blendships, we can go to the uh, Data Conversion tab. And I'm gonna go very quickly through this process, but we have a really good series of tutorials in the launcher. You can find them here in the learn tab. If you go to the application tutorials and find audio to face, uh, you will see that we have a whole series about working with blend shapes, which goes much more into detail on this process. But nevertheless, to get started, we need to first uh, specify the input animation mesh. That is the mesh that is actually driving audio to face. So that's the gray mark. It's called the head water tie high. So let's just find it. And then the blend shape mesh that contains all the meshes. So that's the neutral. Once we select these two, we can just set up the uh, blend shape solve. Now, again, if you want to know more what all these options do, please refer to the tutorial serials about blend shapes. Just for this uh, specific tutorial, we are more uh, focusing on the export and importing it to Unity. So just for this purpose, we can see that it works uh, just fine. Uh, with this, uh, we can just simply uh, export our USD as a skeleton animation. So let me save it in a place that we can find more easily. So let's choose this folder and then choose the name, uh, something like export blend chips. And to make it a bit quick, we can just simply put a lower frame rate and then we can export this file. You will see that we will have this uh, USD cache created and this uh, also cache will also show as a skeleton animation object here in the blend shape object. So we have two options to export this to uh, Blender, but the simpler one is to just simply uh, clean this scene. And by clean this scene is that we only keep the elements that are needed. And here we have three different skeletal animation objects. The one that we interested is this one. Basically, it has all the data that's needed, the blend shapes uh, itself and the animation weights. So in order to get rid of the other ones, uh, as you can see, I cannot do it. And this is because we have here a reference. So in order to basically uh, get rid of the reference and make a proper USD, uh, we can just save the scene uh, flatten. I will save it as mark blend shape animation. And it will create a new file. Uh, so if we open that one again, uh, we will see that basically it's been flattened. So now we can access these skeleton objects and then just delete them. Mm. One last step that needs to be done is uh, basically change the animation source. Uh, when setting up the blend shape solve, 
basically it's pointing to this BS anim object that's the one used on the blend chip solve so we need to point it to the new cache that we created so after adding this uh, you will see that we have our animation uh, here playing in the uh, global timeline and if you don't see it we can actually show the timeline from here once we have this uh, we can just simply save the file again and then we can move uh, to blender uh, to use uh, but you have to use the blender from our omniverse uh, launcher and the reason is that here has uh, many new uh, usd functions that one of them is the import for uh, these uh, blend shapes so in order to get it we can just simply search for blender and then use this production uh, blender which basically is a kind of like an extension of the 3.2 uh, 3.4 uh, branch you can install it i already have it so we can just simply launch it and then we will have the blender uh, we can simply clean up the default scene and then proceed to import uh, the file that we created so in this case mark blend ship animation and you can see that we have some keyframes if you check in the uh, mesh uh, properties we will see all the different uh, shape keys that we have and again we have the uh, animation all right so now in order to use this in unity uh, we have to do something a bit uh, particular which is basically created uh, action uh, these uh, shape keys and animation basically is not seen by the fbx exporter so the way to expose this uh, shape key animation is by basically creating uh, an action so first we create an action and then in order to basically save uh, this properly uh, we can create just two simple keyframes at the beginning so I'm gonna create just a location keyframe and then move to the end of the frame sequence and then just create another one and then with this basically we will be able to export uh, this uh, animation so let's call it my uh, let's just simply say a to F animation all right so with this we will uh, export the FBX we can select the mesh and choose to go to export FBX and then here a few important things is like uh, the important thing is at least we need to get the mesh and the amateur uh, the amateur is important because the animation is somehow uh, related to the uh, armature and these actions so we need to at least export these ones if you want to export all things like camera lamps is up to you and then in this case I'm just gonna select the selected objects that's what I want to do and finally bake the animation needs to be uh, set up with this I'm gonna just save this file and then I'm call, call it unity a to F blend shape animation. All right, so now that we have this, uh, we can uh, move to Unity. So I have here a very simple uh, scene with nothing. So what we can do is navigate to our uh, FBX file and then just drag it into the uh, asset folder to import this SVS file and it might take a while depending on how big your file is
once this is loaded, you can uh, select it and then you will see that we have our action here in the animation. So make sure that we can import the animation. Uh, you can change the different parameters as convenient. And here in the model section, it's important that uh, import blend shapes is selected. And with this, uh, basically we have our animation here. So now I can drag it into the uh, scene and we can uh, just verify that our animation is here. So in this case, I will just simply apply it. Uh, you can see that we have We have uh, our blend shapes here, and then by dragging the animation, the animator is here. And then we can verify the animation just simply uh, by going to animation. And then as you can see, we have here that we can just play. And then we have our audio to face uh, playing inside uh, Unity.